Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me Naresh and in this podcast we will discuss about the inspiring journey of Naresh. So Naresh had a career gap of 4 years and he is from a mechanical engineering background that is non-IT background and even with all of these things Naresh was able to secure a job in top MNC that is Capgemini. So personally I was very inspired because on a day to day basis on our YouTube channel a lot of people with career gap I see how much trouble they face once they go into the market. So even this is going to be an insightful podcast for me. So let's go ahead and learn from Naresh's experience. Naresh, do you want to introduce about yourself in a couple of lines? My name is Naresh Babu. Currently I am working in Capgemini as a senior data analyst. I studied mechanical engineering and uh, passed out in mm-hmm. 2018. After that, um, I have four years career gap placed in Capgemini 2022 through Odin School. So today I am in Capgemini. Okay. Yeah. So Naresh, uh, mechanical engineering to IT background and that too with four years of career gap into data science. This li- like even if you say this to someone, they will feel that is it real? Because stepping into data science itself is one of the difficult tasks. And coming from non-IT background with four years career gap, I'm really amazed. Uh, like I just want to understand a little bit about how did this happen. So after your engineering, what did you do? Like why did you get into this career gap? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Since you ask that, I want to recollect my life once again. <laughs> I think so. Okay. So yeah. I I was uh, that 2018 uh, passed out. Uh, I mechanical engineering. Uh, since opportunities mm-hmm. might be there, but I'm not fit for the opportunities to be honest, <laughs> because I didn't study properly mechanical engineering. So I was enjoyed okay. a lot in, in mechanical engineering. So anyway, I got one small job. So I thought uh, it was not right choice for me. So then I decided that I want okay. to do some uh, competitive exams like UPSC. So I moved to Delhi for that. Okay, you were yeah. in Delhi. Yes. Uh, so then and my that's life. That's where you spent your. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then my lifestyle so, started again for uh, preparation and all. So that's how it yeah. happened. Career gap. So, Naresh, whenever uh, we talk about career gap, in your case, uh, the career gap is justified. I totally understand because you spent four years in pursuing a different career. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. So you moved to this particular background and some people have health issues. Now, talking about career gap, how difficult was it to get into the market, the IT industry market? Because lot of times I read the YouTube comments, people saying that I have 10 years career gap, 4 years career gap and it is literally very difficult. Even people with 2 years career gap, they are finding very difficult to get into the market. Is it true? Like when you say recruiters that you have a career gap, do they really see you as, uh, do they believe in you or do they say, okay, let's put this person's profile in hold. What is your experience? Yes, uh, whatever you said, absolutely correct. But thing was, okay. uh, I will tell you when, uh, when uh, like 30 seconds of a real incident what happened. So it is like okay. uh, one side that UPSC gone. Okay, that is fine. Now my job is the next thing, what I should do now. So it is like finding the course, what you need to do is also very difficult for us. One thing, because after mm. career gap, yes. you will be demotivated and derailed or whatever it may be. It is like completely yes. you are out of your life. So, uh, yes. that point of time, decision taking is very, very critical. So, that yes. decision uh, made, uh, mm-hmm. so made by uh, the persons like me, there, there won't be any support. Like, they won't support you mm-hmm. because, but yes. uh, it depends upon the families. But my family supported very well that I don't want to say that. <laughs> they supported very well. They said that. Oh. Okay. So, you are switching another field. It might be very, again difficult, but we will support you. Like that they said, okay, so that's how it happened. But the two years, three years, at that time, uh, what I'm thinking that um, it is like the current trend. So that time COVID was there, COVID second wave completed that time only. So uh, it's like I started uh, doing course that exactly that time. So I have believed that definitely I will get you. 
So okay. that okay. strong belief made me towards uh, that goal. I think so. Makes sense. Makes sense. So you are saying the struggle is real. If someone comes from a career gap, then they are like couple of steps behind. All that they need to do is believe in themselves and take more time. That's what you are trying to say. Yeah. Right? Yes. One question that I have. Okay. Uh, let's say I am coming from a uh, two years career gap. and like you i am also coming from a non it background so now one thing is i need to learn something i need to be very passionate about it but the second thing is how do i learn also right for example if we are talking about devops then i know that i can go to abhishek virmala channel in your case how did you approach data science because data science is a huge thing and there are so many modules in data science to become a data scientist road map is not at all easy so what was your path Yes, um, for uh, data science, uh, before uh, joining into any institute first, I uh, researched personally what is data science and how it is happening. I prepared some report for that uh, from my okay. side. So can I able oh, to do okay. it? Yeah. So that report even still uh, I have that. It's like a half half book I wrote on that first. Okay. So this is the okay. modules. This is the steps we need to do. All these things I have. Mm. So then later mm. on, I started searching for a right institute. So which institute mm. I can join? So that's how mm. I landed uh, in Odin School. So I I downloaded their curriculum and I matched whatever I wrote with that report. Okay, it's almost same. Like uh, I prepared the uh, okay. same structure. So you did a market research. Yeah. 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 and you prepared your roadmap yes. and then you went to this institute and compared their roadmap with your roadmap yes wow okay okay go ahead yeah that that's how see uh, I, I, even i i don't uh, think so whenever we want to do some course so we need to do mm-hmm. some ground work for that that's how yes, i learned yes. uh, from this uh, competitive exams because competitive exams what uh, will teach to the people uh, there is a mental mm-hmm. ability so that will be yes. very high for the people who are preparing for the competitive exams they will be very thoughtful yeah. so always uh, they will say my teachers syllabus syllabus is your uh, mm-hmm. focus because if you are uh, with the syllabus you you will get the rank so that oh, mistake right. maybe i did there but i don't want to do here so this time i will be very cautious that curriculum i hold it very mm-hmm. tightly and this curriculum should be in my mind Okay. Yeah, and this platform that you are talking about, Odin School. So, do they teach you the entire curriculum, and along with the curriculum, do they also provide some placement assistance? Is everything available? Uh, yes, of course, def- uh, it is available. So, whatever okay. they promised me on the joining date, and they delivered okay. very well. Even uh, I can say that. they didn't promise us like one or two uh, courses but even though they thought uh, because that is uh, trending in the market at that point of time so they given us like bonus that one awesome awesome yeah i'll come back to the placement assistance and other thing but i am more interested in your uh, journey because it's very inspiring now going back like okay mechanical engineering career gap then you wrote the road map right but after all of these things even once you join the institute one thing is as we discussed because you have a career gap you are like two to three steps behind now how did you prepare for this entire thing what how did your day look like because one thing is a lot of people demotivating you one other thing is you see other people getting placed and here you are sitting and studying for your next career transition so how was your day how did you actually manage to do it Mm, uh, since you are saying that uh, two three steps behind, I can say that it is ten steps behind. <laughs> My friends uh, okay. already they went on, or they settled in other areas like uh, other countries also they settled. So it's like I am yeah. watching them uh, their photos, videos in Instagram or somewhere. Mm. It is like okay, mm. if I uh, if I was in job, so I will also like this. So there will be a something will exactly. be there, right? So, exactly. Yeah. But but uh, see, uh, what happens? I never get demotivated because of all these things. But I motivated myself. Okay, one day I will definitely reach that career. Maybe my day late. So that's it. Hmm. I, it okay. Yeah. Okay. So but I want to be like very quick 
in learning the things wherever the chance or opportunity will be there i don't want to take rest so more and more i need to prepare and i need to step into that world of uh, data science then i can i can learn better like that i motivated myself got it and uh, were you also doing uh, practical learning like along with learning something were you also practicing each and every day by doing some proof of concepts or projects uh, yes coming to the practical learning um, i i told you that i am from mechanical grad so yes. so th- that uh, mechanical graduation so uh, it's like more or less uh, it is not useful for me so practical learning i need to start from the scratch every day exactly uh, yeah. exactly uh, the weekend classes will be there like uh, saturday and sunday classes will be there live classes remaining all are like uh, lms portal will be there they will give you the access for the portal but from oh. that every day Uh, like uh, on an average from my case it's like 8 hours on an average i used to focus and i used to frame the notes and i used to collect the information if i am not able to understand that i used to refer the multiple sources because technology is anyway available uh, today so it's like we uh, i searched everything and uh, related to particular topic i frame uh, at a particular pages so this is so and so topic i covered like next topic like Okay okay so you were practicing like almost 8 hours every day awesome awesome and while you were doing all this thing right one is you are preparing for it then you are practicing 8 hours a day but you need some reality check also right probably if if i was in your position what would have helped me more is some mock interviews or some senior who is uh, guiding me so was this also there like uh, some kind of mentorship or someone who is trying to uh, clear your doubts and trying to explain uh, who was your mentor in this case yes uh, you ask that uh, uh, the kind of doubt clearing or the kind of mentor mm-hmm. okay yes. so uh, i can say that odin school uh, begin you know, because that was the covid time so for us so mm-hmm. it's like you know, entirely the processing online okay so okay. even though okay. they are maintaining now also online so the process will be very smooth and very happy for example you know that the platform called okay. facebook so i think everyone is using facebook what we yes. will do in facebook we will post something and somebody uh, will see that and they will give like or yeah. comment or something they will give that same yeah. same phenomena they have one portal discussion forum okay so for example okay. i am a student i got doubt okay so what i will do so sir i got so and so doubt can you please answer this so i will attach the okay. photos also if you if i want so they can clearly give reply and you know what that doubt can be uh, all students can see that doubt and they can also reply if they know the answer got it yes and one more thing uh, naresh some question that was always there in my mind i mean this was a question i keep getting from uh, my subscribers on the channel and people also who i interact with who have career gap what they ask me very often is i call some hr like the career gap person calls some hr or receives a calls from the hr and as soon as they say that i have a career gap they immediately cut the call and they are not interested in this particular candidate right so what should we do in this particular case do you get any kind of placement assistance or like you kept trying uh, through different job portals and uh, some hr randomly accepted you are how was your journey in this case yes uh, it happened with me also sometimes when i personally mm-hmm. tried so when i say four years career gap means they immediately say sorry uh, we can't so but uh, okay. see uh, boarding school people what they will uh, clearly say to the companies we have career gap people but uh, they are very talented so they already okay. passed all the tests conducted by us so you can also test okay. them once okay if you okay. are so they uh, have the connections basically. yes okay yeah oh. so whenever you are projecting the talent like that so that is what marketing right see why you are using so and so soap means what you will say because you saw that ad many times 
or you saw that yes. the thing many times that is the reason we are doing all these things so they also do same thing but in different way for example narish you take so what they will see so this guy is a highly talented whatever we conducted all the test he cleared and he got 80% more and if you want you can check him once so then they will check and they will say that okay really he, this guy is awesome so then they will take us yeah and uh, if we uh, move little bit aside how do you prepare your resume when you have career gap should you actually show your uh, career gap in the resume or uh, like how would the resume look like can i directly put in the resume that i have four years career gap because i was preparing for upsc or do you show some certifications how do you do that yes um, instead of answering me i can say that um, this question mm. so there is a team called uh, career services team so in uh, wooden school the people called you can say that they are experts i can say <laughs> because resume building i saw that first time uh, i in their point of view they are made okay. for resume building how to build your resume like see mm-hmm. they won't uh, take you any fake experience they won't take you any uh, things but they will project you whatever you have the skills in the long uh, that is in a good manner in your resume now so it will become filled with the current technologies see Okay. it's obviously dominating things will show you so then you will forget about the past things that is what right. things yeah and how is your data science thing going right now like uh, you stepped into the market it's already like one to two years right and uh, now the career gap everything is gone now you are a engineer and you have like couple of years of experience so now tell me how is this data science thing going do you see good market for data science how is your experience were you able to cope up uh, abhishek i think uh, i i really uh, can't able to believe the present day actually so yeah. it is like yeah. i watched many uh, people interview in different different youtube channels different different things but see uh, today i am really at this position because of that people like good in school they supported me like this so how um, they saw my career before uh, than me i think so yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's how i really happy for that i i said after two years it is like for me next level i can say that uh, so it's good support from awesome. company and good things we are learning i never uh, uh, i never turn back my career even one day also i don't want to be that because it's like this yeah. try all struggles when you are crossing and you when you landed on the mountain why you want to be a turning back so that's yeah, how yeah. yeah awesome so i i mean i totally understand what you are talking about because they have career assistance they have proper core curriculum course curriculum with the modules they have the interview support doubts clearing so obviously i understand there is this gratitude coming from and uh, because now you are in a position where you are already into the market couple of years you are doing great i totally understand that and people who are watching this podcast even if you want to take a look at the platform take a look at the, the courses that they are offering link for the odin school is in the description you can click on the link and if you need any further assistance you can also let us know in the comment section someone from the odin school will try to reach out and Narish thank you so much for joining today's podcast and uh, i would be very happy to meet you in a different podcast and uh, share your knowledge with our viewers regarding data science where we can talk more about data science we can talk about the career opportunities in data science what are the uh, what is the road map to become a data scientist we'll talk that in a different podcast but thank you so much for being here today and sharing your experience thank you abhishek uh, i really uh, like this uh, the podcast and all so because i wanted to give um, the, like uh, youngsters who are coming and who are dropped out actually that is a biggest yes. thing and who, who uh, thought about their career was gone so it is like i want to tell them in a single word nothing happened awesome. because of covid so many people like uh, out of i can say that mm. 70% people got career break please restart your career even though 10 years is also not a problem so please remember okay. my words and definitely we will get the chance sure thank you thank you naresh 
see you all in the next video take care everyone bye bye